As a county extension agent, we get a lot of calls about trees that are dying back as far as the branches in the upper canopy. One of the more common problems that we see or get calls about is mistletoe. A lot of people don't realize that mistletoe is actually a parasitic plant that infects the branches of trees and can actually steal water and nutrients from those branches. And over time, if enough branches are infected with that, you'll have extreme dieback and those branches can break and be a hazard near your home or near your car. So mistletoe is actually um, a plant parasite. So it's a plant in the sense that it needs sunlight to grow, uh, but it's a parasite in the sense that it steals water and nutrients from the tree that it's growing on. It actually produces these tiny little white berries that are very attractive to a lot of different bird species. Birds will eat these berries, they'll pick them up and they'll eat them and digest them and then they'll plant those berries wherever they land. So that's actually how mistletoe spreads from tree to tree. It'll affect a lot of different tree species, mainly hardwood species like oaks that are very common throughout Georgia. And um, if you have it in your neighborhood, there's a good chance that it can spread from tree to tree or you know, it can spread to trees within your landscape. So it's something to keep a lookout for if you have this problem in, in your landscape. One of the best ways to control mistletoe is to prune it out. Uh, there's really no other treatment that's very effective or as effective as pruning it out. Now on small trees, this is something you can do at home. Uh, for larger trees, you may need to hire a certified arborist to come out and do this kind of work. One of the key things is to make sure you get it all when you prune it out. So you need to prune several inches, maybe up to a foot beyond where you actually see the mistletoe growing. So this would be an example of uh, a branch that's infected with mistletoe. And I'm gonna go all the way back to the main fork on the branch and ensure that I cut the whole thing out. And then here's another one that's infected with mistletoe and we'll pull that one out and you can see how I cut about a foot off of that branch um, to make sure we got all the mistletoe out. Sometimes mistletoe grows in places that you just can't prune it out. If it's growing on the main trunk of the tree or on a larger branch, you may not want to prune that out because it'll actually you know, make the branch or the tree look bad when you prune that out. So for those types of situations, we actually do recommend covering the branch uh, or the area that's pruned out. If you just cut the mistletoe off the branch, you still have where it was attached in the branch, embedded in the branch itself. And so mistletoe has to have light to be able to grow. And so if it doesn't have light, it'll actually die out after a while. So what we recommend is actually wrapping that branch with a black plastic material, and you can use tape to secure it to the branch and keep it on there nice and tight. And that'll need to be adjusted periodically so it doesn't grow into the branch or girdle the branch. Um, and then this actually needs to stay in place for about two years to make sure that you exclude the light long enough to kill out the mistletoe. Um, and again, for larger jobs, this may not be something you can do yourself. Um, for those bigger trees, you need to hire a certified arborist. So we recommend going to the ISA Certified Arborist website. The website is treesaregood.org if you want to look up a certified arborist in your area that can do this type of work um, and make sure you hire a professional to do the job right. So for more information, be sure to call your local county extension office and be sure to uh, follow us on the Georgia Farm Monitor.